Well, hello. I'd like to welcome you to my first impressions of a Pen BBS 380. Now, nothing back here yet because my autofocus hated the outside case. Uh, but let's dive into the pen and see what it looks like. And I just want to remind you before we dive in here, uh, first impressions are just that. I've had pens break shortly after filming the first impression. Uh, I've had pens where I go, Meh, and then I like them after I use them for a while, so you never know. First impression is exactly that. A first impression, not necessarily well-researched, and definitely not based on experience. This will be my first time doing more than opening the box of the pen. So let's take a look at it. All right, I'm going to now reenact my opening the pen because I just realized the camcorder wasn't on this whole time. So sh shoot, and I don't want to refilm all that. So the pen came in this white outer sleeve. And uh, that was around this box, typical box. Um, the pen was ensconced there with a rollerball tip that took me by surprise in the original version where you can't see any of it. So I won't be using the rollerball tip tonight, but that might be something to keep in mind for the future. And then I pulled out the pen. I remarked that I would have preferred the black version, but uh, yeah, this isn't bad looking. Kind of a rough textured aluminum. It's not really smooth. And the clip even has some texture to it. Nothing on the finials. Oh, sorry, I take that back. This is Pen BBS 380. See? Screw cap. So uh, I had gotten as far as showing the pen clip when I realized that the camcorder wasn't on. So this is the first time I've ever opened the pen and I'm, the nib is different. Oh, okay, a little excited now. That's a medium nib. I've been hearing about the pen BBS medium nibs. I have not tried one or seen one. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to try this one. Same typical feed, but a medium nib. So that's exciting. And we'll find out if it has a converter. I'm guessing it does. They usually come with... Yep, it does. One of the sort of Lamy converters. All right. That's exciting. Oh, it's got an agitator too. Sweet. So, that is the Pen BBS 380. I'm going to do a quick glamour shot. Uh, and I just was thinking as I'm doing this, that clip. Probably not necessary with this design. And uh, Nakaya with the Decapod Twist, which I think I just saw a video I can do where I compare the two pens. That'd be a little unfair, but fun. Uh, cannot be purchased with a clip. So, hmm. Very interesting. So we'll use this shot for the cover, the clip. No, what do you call it? The channel art, anyway. The thingy that I do the thingy with. Oh, too late at night. I've batch filmed too many reviews today. Uh, so, open it. Uh, oh, I already showed you. I already opened it up. So, let us fill it. I'm going to use a sample of Private Reserve Plum. Never used it before, but... This seems like an ink, like an idea of a color that would go with a neutral pen like this. Uh, on the first fill, meh. Let's try again. Spinning a little more slowly, we're getting a little more ink. Very foamy, but I think I went too fast the first time. Oh, uh, did you hear that sucking? There we go. So the trouble with uh, some of the larger nib pens like this and sample bottles is uh, as you fill the pen, you run into the bottom of the sample bottle and you're like, well, gee. Okay. So small problem I'm seeing, kind of hard to clean that off. 
with just a dry cloth. So if I wasn't in my pen studio, I'd be upstairs where I actually have water. So I'm just going to do my best here, possibly through the magic of editing, and get it cleaned. I don't think I've had that happen to me down here before. All right, and let's just see. I would never post my Nakaya. It posts. Wants to wiggle loose. A um, bit of a step here, but it's not too annoying because it is below where I grip, or above where I grip. All right, I think just after writing that much, this is the start of a beautiful friendship. I am impressed. Even though it's a metal pen. Um, the color of the ink is just kind of meh. But I'm impressed by how the pen feels. I'm very impressed by how it writes. There's definitely some line variation there. Certainly it's not a flex nib. Uh, why do you always write the word flex? Because it has curly cues and I feel like I should write something. Yeah. The ink, you know, and again, this camera doesn't always give the best preview. The ink looks more reddish than it does on the camera. But it, we'll have to wait and see what it looks like when I process it on the computer. And who knows what it looks like on your monitor, because maybe your colors aren't adjusted like mine. Most aren't adjusted like our eyeballs. Uh, wetness and flow. And I just want to say this pen is writing very smoothly. Uh, I... Uh, not getting much feedback. I mean, it's not gliding, but it is smooth. A smear test. Oh yeah. Reverse writing. Wow. Okay, except for the writing part, but it's very smooth. It just doesn't write very well. <laughs> All right, and finally, the Pierre Gustafson test. Yeah, I had no trouble keeping up. What do you think? Yeah. And of course we need to do one more test because this is important to me. Oh, Lamy 2000. Set him aside temporarily. Oh, failing this test really, really does not want to go over that. That is tight and the, the material of the aluminum is quite frictiony. Okay, it does hold securely. Drag up the whole shirt when I take it out, but hey. So, maybe not the easy whoop like a Lamy 2000 but <laughs> costs a lot less than a Lamy 2000 oh come on hold still all right so a Nakaya decapod twist it is not but it's a very nice pen and I'll tell you what I'll take it places that Nakaya Decapod Twist will never visit. Uh, this is a very nice writer. I am impressed. Uh, the metal thing, uh, I kind of wish it was, you know, plastic of some kind, but uh, that's me. Uh, it's not too heavy. Uh, I didn't bring down a scale, but, you know, it's, it's definitely heavier than it would be if it was a plastic pen. Uh, on the whole, I think you can tell I am favorably impressed, but remember, this is a first impression. I always try to hold my reviews off till I've done at least two full fills on a pen and that whole novelty and newness has worn off and it's just down to the okay it's a pen and then I can be more objective with it. So uh, yeah the honeymoon phase will wear off by the time you finally see a review on this one but the honeymoon will be a lot of fun.
<laughs> that was horrible. So on that note, I'm going to close. So I want to thank you for watching. <laughs> and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.